bread is considered as one of the oldest food produced. Did you know that bread was produced as early as 8000 BC? According to historians, the first bread produced was made when the Egyptians invented the first grinding stone. Out of unleavened whole wheat flour, the first flat bread was made which the modern Indian chapati and Mexican tortillas we have today resemble. Kung dati ay mano-mano lang ang paggawa ng tinapay at with basic ingredients lang, gaano na kaya ka-high-tech ang paggawa ng tinapay at paano ito mas pinasarap ngayon? Sama-sama nating alamin yan! Because we want to learn and at the same time share with you guys how bread is made. Nowadays, nandito tayo ngayon sa Gardenia Factory! Nako, so amazing, right? Kaya ano pang hinihintay natin? Let's go inside! Here in Gardenia, we make bread that is very high in nutritive value, fortified with vitamins and minerals. Gardenia was produced here in the Philippines in 1998. We started out with a small loaf plant and when we saw the, the good uh, take off from the acceptance of our consumers, then we had more plants available as demand grew. Gardenia's plant in Binyan, Laguna showcases its world-class bread manufacturing facility. Since the factory opened its doors for free plant tours, visitors, especially students, can have a closer look at how they make their bread fresh, soft, and tasty. Sa pagpasok sa loob ng Gardenia Factory, bubungad na agad sa atin ang malaking mascot na tinapay. Ayan, nandito tayo ngayon sa pagawaan ng tinapay. Naku, malalaman na natin kung ano ba ang buong proseso. Puntahan na natin si Ma'am Charlo atin. Let's go! Let's go. Ang unang proseso sa paggawa ng kanilang tinapay ay ang ingredient preparation process. Sa malalaking containers o silos na ito, nakastore ang kanilang mga ingredients tulad ng milk, flour, sugar at whey powder. Dito naman sa station na ito, ginagawa ang sponge mixing o ang paggawa ng tinatawag na sponge o base dough kung saan kalahati ng ingredients ng kanilang tinapay ang minimix. Pagkatapos magawa ang sponge, Ililipat ito sa malalaking lalagyan upang ipasok sa isang malamig na room ng ilang oras para sa fermentation process. Ito ay para lalong ma-enhance ang texture, aroma at flavor ng tinapay. From the fermentation room, the sponge is mixed with the remaining half of the ingredients to come up with the final dough. Then, the dough is transferred to the dough trough and to the makeup line. In the makeup line, the dough undergoes four processes. First is dividing, wherein the dough is cut into the required shape, size, and weight of the loaf. Then, it is rounded into a ball with a smooth surface. Then, passes through the check weigher to see if the dough is in the required weight. The third process is the intermediate proofing, wherein the dough is allowed to rest in baskets to have the right makeup for molding. Lastly, the dough passes through the molding area to have its final form and placed in baking pans. Pagkatapos sa molding area, ito ay ready na for final proofing. Here, the dough is allowed to rise in pans in swing trays. After that, the pans are covered with a lid. And now, it's ready for baking! Dito sa plant na ito, sabi nga nila, Everything is done through the use of computer-operated machine. So, the dough is untouched by human hands all throughout the process. Kaya naman pati ang paglilinis ng pans ay sa pamamagitan din ng kanilang machine. Dito sa mga naglalakihang oven na ito, ibibake ang dough. Ito ay computer program din. Once the bread is baked, here in the depanning process, Bread is loosened from each pan through airburst and is taken out of the baking pan through the machine suctions that automatically lift the bread out of the pan. Ito naman ang kamangha-mangha nilang spiral cooling towers kung saan pinapalamig ang temperature ng tinapay bago dumaan sa slicing station. O di ba impressive? Next ay ang tumbling kung saan dumadaan sa quality visual inspection ang bawat loaf. May mga nakatalagang checkers upang ma-check ang bawat side ng loaf. After inspection, the loaves are now cut to the desired thickness. Once sliced, the loaves are pushed inside the bags automatically. To ensure the bread's freshness, 
color-coded G-locks are used to indicate the batch number, expiry date, and the price as well. Now, it's ready for delivery. O di ba mga katribe, hindi talaga biro kung paano at kung ilan ang napoproduce na product sa isang food factory. But I'm still wondering, how does Gardenia maintain its bread quality? Not only in the production of bread, but also quality and safety in the production area and premises as well. Uh, we have five qualities that we look at. There's um, taste, freshness, softness, aroma, and nutritive value. Also, we look at, uh, are these made from the finest ingredients? Uh, not just in the Philippines, but abroad also. So we subscribe to current good manufacturing practices, uh, which looks at the sanitation of our equipment, floor, ceilings, walls. And it also includes uh, our ingress-egress policies, concomitant to our pest control uh, practices. People, as they enter the factory, wash their hands, uh, clean their shoes, etc. So even if, of course, uh, our, our bread is untouched by human hands, but when they do their own work, then we make sure that their hands are well clean and sanitized. Nako Nicole, hindi pa rin ako talaga makaget over dito sa baba ha? dahil nakita natin, natutunan natin kung paano ba yung process na paggawa ng tinapay na to. That's right, Jen. Now we know how Gardenia produces their world-class quality bread products through their fully automated and computer-controlled bread-making facility. Oh, Kaya naman, soft, fresh, at great tasting ang bread nila. Ang oven-baked aroma, Jen, at nutritious pa, di ba? Tama ka dyan. Kaya naku, sana mas marami pa makatry ng ganito kasi sarap at masustansyang tinapay. Correct. Here, mga katry. Try it. Try it. Try it. Try it.